Hello everyone, welcome to the video. So a couple days ago I've come up with the idea to do code review for myself for a year, uh, even more than a year ago. So I think it could be cool. I can see how much I have improved and how my code looked like a year ago. To be honest with you, I just opened it and decided it will be the project that I'm gonna do review on. So I don't really remember a lot about that. It's gonna be trash probably. And I guess it could be, it, it will be interesting. So to explain a little bit what the project is about, it is a to-do list. Yeah, I know it's uh, really, really interesting. <laughs> Like just uh, like everybody, I've decided to do a to-do list. It is a project written in the React. It's hosted on the Versal, and I'm just gonna show you how it looks like and how many features it has. So this is the full project. I know it's crazy. So there's uh, three tools, and uh, it it is not connecting to any API. It's just using the local state. Uh, what we can do here. Let's just check out whether it works or not because I don't really re remember Add new to do. All right Something came up here. Let's say record the YouTube video about uh, up here. Okay A Calendar not really tags All right, then my app just broke Okay, so remember don't click tags so maybe another task, uh, go to sleep. It's a cool task, I love to sleep. Uh, add task, and we've got it here, and it has April, April 25th, 25th. Mm, no, not today, definitely it's not ap April. Okay, uh, let me mark it as done, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I slept this day. All right, it's, it's marked as done. Now edit, go to sleep, change it, go to shop, edit to do. All right, we've got it and delete. Okay, land first job as a junior front-end developer, react and job. It's definitely has been made. All right, so I, I guess uh, I'll just walk through the whole app. It's not a lot and uh, let's just jump into the code. So I'm gonna make it bigger for you guys. Okay, so first of all, uh, the most important thing, it doesn't use TypeScript because, uh, you know, uh, almost, uh, I mean, uh, more than a year ago, I didn't really use TypeScript. Nowadays, it just must have for me. But let's start with a packet.json. I really do like to start with the packet the JSON when I do code review for guys on many Discord servers. And also I have a Discord server uh, of my own. If you want to join, there is a link in the description. You can put your own project in a code review category and I will do a review for you. But let's get back into what we've got here. And also it was created with create react app. So it has a lot of things like testing library and there's none of tests, so like, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be here. Prisma client, very interesting. I remember I want to uh, add the backend here and you know, fetch the to do's from the backend and all of this stuff. And it's quite funny, at this time, I didn't really know how the connection between APIs and the front end works. And it was a mystery for me for like, I don't know, uh, almost a year i would say i didn't really know how to connect this and and oh my god i wish i i, I had a better better teacher or better communities to learn that so just hop into my and hell yeah i will tell you how to do it all right so uh, dependencies prisma it, it is not being used anywhere um, i guess so it should be not here downshift it's being used to work, do drop downs nowadays I would use uh, either headless UI or Radix. 
it's the two libraries that are my favorites when in, in terms of doing uh, components that are you know have to be accessible so headless ui and radix also radix ui it's called radix ui okay uh, so most of the time i go with headless uh, because it can be easy implemented with tailwind but actually now there's also a lot of uh, ready components uh, ready tailwind components to use with radix so for example here's definitely somewhere a drop down so yeah I, I would use it these days let's go back to the code node uh, react icons react router react scripts styled components and also yeah these times styled components were very very trendy because tailwind wasn't a thing or it was just a, you know very early stages i would say not uh, like today which is there's this where is where it is a standard almost uh, yeah it's like some create react app stuff and here is typescript slint interesting so i guess i wanted to add oh comment before big changes in src i love this comment message it's great so I guess I wanted to add TypeScript to this project, but it didn't work out in the end. Okay, uh, what else? Read me. It's filled like the app was ready. Definitely wasn't if it's crashing. JS config. All right, so it's like a test config. I got prettier. I got slint, and I've disabled. I've disabled the rules. Interesting. I don't know why, but. Let's finally get into the source data todos. All right, so here is where I keep my default state for the app. So yeah, that's how it works. Interesting how I decided to go with it. Mm. Mm, I actually wouldn't change a lot in this because if I want to have some, uh, maybe not with the default state, because of course nowadays I would like to have it like a real app, so with a backend and all of this stuff. But uh, still, if you want to have, keep some some data, then uh, using a JavaScript object is fine. I guess it's array in this in this uh, situation. Mm. And keeping in the data category categories, okay, but uh, it's it's a small app, but I really like uh, this uh, way of structuring your files with a feature category and where you keep uh, you know features, and then in feature A, you got category for components and you here keep here only components that are related to this because if you don't do it then you have something like that a lot of stuff and you really don't want to end up like this in a big project because i've been there i've seen it and it's horrific and you know you probably are using uh, command p control p to go through your files and that's okay but still, if you are using it, you can go through ca uh, categories. I mean, through um, directories. I, I meant all the time directory, not category. I hope I didn't talk about this too much, but components slash and you could use feature. You know what I mean, right? OK. Uh, assets. So it's a, it's a file with some global styles for, for style components. I can delete this helpers of course there's a missing a type but it wasn't in TypeScript so it's okay here's uh, some helpers for date so it's just returning formatted day and a month probably I would do it the other way new date get date months Oh, so I've decided to keep it in the other uh, array and you don't really have to do it. Like you can 
create a date and use uh, is there something like oh okay uh, TypeScript will not help me here so there's definitely a ready function for that or if not I would uh, not hesitate to add some library to do it for me because in the long run I will uh, use it a lot and it will be problematic to keep it up to date with modern syntax so I wouldn't hesitate and just add um, library and also a lot of lets I would definitely change it into a constant but uh, let's go further check if it's due uh, to date date parse what parse does okay 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 I'm just checking uh, probably also there's a function in the library like they no DJS but data and finesse or something like that uh, to help me out with that but okay hooks use toggle interesting initial state false state state toggle well it's cool reusable hook I would say there's nothing wrong in it uh okay but it's returning an uh, tuple yeah that that's fine i guess this form what we got here there is some reducer action types so there's a thing that i i was writing the code when i was watching some uh some tutorial and guy in it did it like that like he liked to have his own hooks uh, and his own logic to keep state of forms and all the stuff like that these days i rely on f libraries like 99 percent of the time the form has to be extremely simple like i don't know two text fields with no validation and i know the app has to be small and I will just use it for a while because as soon as I know that it has be to be maintained, I'll not hesitate and add React hook form. In my opinion, it is for us for now uh, the best library to uh, handle forms for you in the in the Re React application. Uh, so I definitely oh why it's so slow. So I definitely. Uh, recommend this library so let's go to code again so you wouldn't have to do like use form for you but what it does form values and it dispatches a use reducer reducer is passed here action input change and clear values okay and handle input change dispatch Handle clear, clear form int. Okay, that that's cool, I guess. Again, uh, I wouldn't keep it in a React state. I mean, in uh, in a state like that, I would use the external lib library. But I don't see any problem with this code. Probably because it wasn't written written by me. Uh, I I I used a. Uh, Yes, is it from the other project that I was doing while doing the course? Okay, so here's providers. We're gonna back to it. Go back to it. Utils. It's empty. So utils and helpers. Interesting views. Oh wow, layout, layout wrapper. Oh, it's probably just a diff with some styles. Yep. All right. To the list is to the being added. All right, interesting. And to the taken from context. What do we get here? Being modified. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, I, I would definitely do it a, a little bit different, but it works. Uh, so it's okay, I guess. Let's see at app.js. We got a router, global styles, provider. Here's the routes. 
index. There's nothing interesting here. Yep. So let's just go to the to-do list and see at the components. Look at the components. Uh, or just before, let's see. All right. So first of all, I see I use uh, use context like that. I'm definitely a big fan of doing your own custom hook to use your context. Why? Because if the amp getting bigger and you aren't just putting all of your providers in the app, but you are doing it a little bit more mm, precise. So you are putting the providers exactly where the data need to be accessible. Then you can uh, access, incidentally put it somewhere where the context is not provided. And it's cool to use your custom hook and we'll use it actually. Uh, create it just to show you what I mean to this context uh, why it's taking so long come on all right so here we are create context also I wouldn't do it like that so I don't really like uh, doing that empty empty stuff I would rather keep a null here until it is actually empty because we have to you know fill the values here so at the beginning i would just keep it as a null and check whether there's a value inside this context or not but we've got provider here so we can do export const use use to do uh, context it will be a function uh, what we get here exactly what I need so as you can see we get that context exactly the same thing that we are doing here is context to this context and we are checking if it is undefined because if it is undefined we are using it uh, not inside the provider. So uh, Furnish, fortunately, uh, GitHub Copilot did a full, full job for me. So now we can write it like that, but we need to import it. It will not tell me, it will not help me if importing. All right, so it's, it's also a it is also a TypeScript feature. Interesting. Use Tudus context. Tudus and okay. It has type any uh, because of this one. But it, I, I don't really think that it would be smart enough to tell what type it has. All right, uh, let's go deeper because I don't want it to take too, too much time. Tudus map. If it to do is being modified, then show this form. And if it's not, just show it a to-do list item. So I guess it's it's okay. From the user experience perspective, I wouldn't do it like that. Probably I would use some kind of model or something like that, but it's still okay. Let's look what we got here. To-do list item. Mm. All right, interesting. Uh, again, I use context. I don't know why, toggle complete. Oh, because I'm doing a little like that. So probably I wouldn't do it like that today. And I would love to have it being passed to that component. So this component would only show data. It wouldn't have any complex logic inside. You know, it's not too, too much complex. It just toggle the state. But uh, I love when the components only render markup because this is what the React has been made for. Uh, so yeah, definitely just a on click or something like that being passed in the props. And what we get here, a local state for our options visible three dots are options visible. It can be kept inside. It's not a big deal. 
uh, as for now, I guess. And to the options. All right, I wouldn't call it like that. It has some ID. And here is where, where it was uh, going wrong. Again, if I remember correctly, I've decided to write my own overlay and it's, it is just a bad idea. If you need some kind of drop down, uh, some kind of, you know, component that will show up on the screen in a concrete position, just like here, or just like here, it is the component I needed, the drop down. I would definitely use it like that because mm, the way I did it now, if it was enough space to render it, uh, it would still show up under. And actually, I'm, I'm try, I will try to show you what I mean. So let's just go up with that even more and more. And if you imagine the list was longer, it would still display it here, even that there is uh, space up here. And li libraries like uh, I've spoken about earlier will do it for you. So it's extremely helpful and extremely important to, to use them, I guess, and not to do it yourself because there's a, a lot of people that are working on it and uh, it's just better to use it. It, it, of course, it's it's my opinion, and we'll get here delete to to and toggle being modified, and again, I wouldn't use context inside the studio options like that. I would like it to have uh, make it more reusable, and and don't use logic inside of here. It just would take on click to the list item, and it would have a delete, but it, it would be passed as a prop. So definitely too much logic inside components. Uh, that's what I see here. All right, and here's ID pass to delete and toggle being modified. Okay, so leave it as it here, as it is. Uh, what we get next, let's go back to toggle, toggle and look at a to do form. All right date visibility, tags visibility. And again, I would love to libra library handle it for me because, uh, actually let's check it out. Will it close when I close elsewhere? It does because there's an overlay, but it doesn't close when I click escape, for example, mm, because I've decided to handle it myself, not with the library. What else? What else? Some console logs. It shouldn't be here. New to do. Oh, here is April 25. Oh, okay. There's definitely not the right thing to keep it as string. There, I would definitely keep it as. Uh, well, it depends if it's a local state. Is it just a date object of JavaScript? If it's in the database, uh, it's a little bit. Uh, different format depends on the backend. Uh, if there is a name, add to do toggle and handle form, a uh, clear form. Okay. So what I would do is definitely move all of this logic to its own hook. Const use to do form. And what it would have is this definitely. Uh, where am I? Okay, here. So just like that. And it would return all the stuff. And now you can imagine that this hook is in an another file, but it's not like it's not necessary. I can just use it like the const uh, use to do form and now I can get all of this stuff that I need but also what is important uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily uh, keep everything here maybe there has to be two hooks for that uh, I don't want to get too deep as for now 
but moving logic out of your component is a really good practice and I re highly recommend it for you. Okay, wrapper on submit, it's a form, right? Yes, it's a form, input, mm -hmm. value. All right, so it is in base on the name. Out of focus, buttons wrapper. All right, something something weird is happening right now. Right now. So, again, tax select. I guess it is supposed to be. Yep. Yeah. I copied it. I remember it exactly. That that I've decided to just copy it because it worked somewhere. But here's the place where it broke, probably. Tax, yeah. Where you, when you click there, it, it just broke the app. Uh, calendar, it also doesn't work. So we're not gonna look about it too much. Okay, so let's lastly look at the app to do. What it does, plus icon. Okay, probably for icons these days, I would use SVGR. It's a great library that lets you use SVGs as a React component right inside your code. You can just import it and use it as a component. You don't have to do a lot of crazy stuff. But actually, if it just works, let me check it. All right, so here is a, from the React icon. Okay, 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 okay. So I use a, a little bit different, but, mm, but okay. Uh, add to do, toggle, adding to do. So again, I would like it to have more, um, maybe a little bit different name, but still it is it is not uh, extremely coupled with this component because it's being passed as a prop, so that's okay. And uh, here's the problem with style components. For everything, you need a different styled component even if it is a span with padding and font size because style and inline is a really bad idea and you don't have any other choice if you're using um, if you are using styled components but here's interesting thing add to the wrapper it has on click but it is a diff component a diff html element actually and this is a bad practice and I'm gonna try to show you why. Add to do. okay, so it is with add to do, add new to do. Uh, so how it works when I click anywhere. All right, all right. So the problem with using on clicks on divs is it is not really accessible. Let's try to focus on add to do. So as you can see, I'm do, I will do it bigger for you guys. Uh, I'm currently focused here and I'm gonna use my tab key to go to the next uh, focusable element. Okay, I'm jumping here. Interestingly, I'm not jumping to the dots, which is <laughs> definitely a bad thing. Uh, it should be like uh, this, from here to here, from here to here. Okay, let's go further, further. And now I don't really know where I am. I'm clicking space and I'm afraid that I'm nowhere. Yeah. So this is why you don't use diffs and add on click to them because you can't use keyboard to uh, use them. Of course, you could go and uh, add something like focusable or uh, there is some property to make divs like you can focus them, but it's just wrong. So what should you do? You should use button inside. Uh, not inside, but you should use button, not div. <laughs> so let's look how, uh, let's see. All right, so we will not see because I, I'm not uh, doing it like local development, it, it is being deployed on the Vercel. 
but you should definitely consider using a button over here and probably from the user experience it shouldn't be like a whole row maybe a small button to make it more uh, uh, you know easy to understand but even if you want a whole row to be um, focusable it's better to be button and just style it like you want then you can focus it click enter and you know do the thing all right so it's getting long so let's see there's a lot of components there, there's like for such an easy app and simple it is just too much in my opinion but it is because i'm not using any libraries and because i'm using style components uh, so okay let's wrap it up first of all what i would do here first point actually i can create a file for that first point add typescript second point enable as lint rules because they are disabled three switch from styled components components to tailwind or a css but probably tailwind because i'm a big fan of it mm, what else move logic logic from components to hooks or external li libraries uh, what else we had uh, structure project uh, like feature based not mm, I don't know how to how to write it but what I mean you structure your project by features not by things like components data helpers and you keep uh, stuff related to one thing one feature in multiple places you want to keep them as close as possible uh, providers that's what I did but uh, use custom hook for providers mm -mm. what else Let, let's let's wrap it up for here and let's say that it's all so to be honest with you i thought it will be worse i'm pretty sure that a lot of this code is copied from some uh, youtube uh, course but that's okay that's all right that's how it looks when you learn uh, so to wrap it up guys in the link uh, in the description leads to my discord channel when you can join and uh, learn together so i highly recommend you guys to check it out you can jump in say hello meet some new people and get some help you can add uh, your project to the code review i will look into it and uh, and maybe I will even record a video about it and, you know, to help others, who knows. So that's all for now. Help you, help you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.